Good morning friends. I am a shoulder arthroscopy surgeon and I do come across a lot of patients of shoulder pain. And a rare diagnosis in cases of shoulder pain is a GLAD lesion. The full form of GLAD lesion is glenoid labral articular defect. The mechanism of injury is a forced adduction in an abducted and external rotated arm. And it is usually an impaction kind of an injury in which the ball pushes on the socket in a manner that it releases or damages the cartilaginous portion over there. The lesion is quite close to the labrum. So it is almost similar as a labral uh, injury. But in this particular injury, instability is not the predominant complaint as in the Bankart lesion. But pain is the most common symptom. The most common pain is seen is a global kind of a pain and diffuse kind of a pain which is seen in two third of patients and in one third of patient you might see a pain which is more on the anterior aspect of the shoulder. The diagnostic modality of choice is an MRI scan and if you want to be more sure you can do a MR arthrogram to confirm the diagnosis. This lesion was coined, this term was coined by Dr. Nivezier and he was the first person to uh, actually describe what exactly is the lesion and how it looks like. This lesion is associated with the labral lesion but it is not a classical labral Bankart or Alpsa kind of a lesion which causes an instability. So this is more commonly a intact anterior labro, uh, labral and capsulus complex injury which is not a classical bank art. Now this defect can be a small defect which is a punctate or an oval chondral lesion which is on the anterior inferior part of the glenoid or it can be a large flap kind of a lesion in which the whole cartilage plaque is expulsed from the glenoid. Occasionally it may be accompanied by loose bodies inside the shoulder. So Whenever you have a doubt regarding a GLAD lesion, the predominant symptom will be pain, not instability. And the best diagnostic modality is to ideally do a shoulder arthroscopy, which is both diagnostic and therapeutic. And what we usually do is clean that particular area of the cartilage defect. If there are any loose bodies, we remove the loose bodies. We debride the edges. Occasionally, we do a RF chondroplasty. We can do a small, small microfracture pricks into the chondral lesion to actually regenerate the fibrocartilages tissue into that particular area of the defect. And we also try to put anchors into the labral defect itself and pull the labrum more into the labral defect. So that will actually close or make the labral defect as small as possible. And we also try that by repairing the labrum into the defect we make this labral defect or a articular cartilage defect a non-weight bearing area. So we try to do a labral repair also in that particular lesion. So if you have a diagnosis of a GLAT lesion or if you want to have any more queries regarding the treatment and the evaluation of GLAT lesion, you can definitely write to us on the comment box. Thank you.